Hello and welcome. Thank you so much for being here and for checking out this yoga class. In today's class, we will be working on our balance. All you will need is your mat, your body, and your breath. When you are ready, you can meet me in a standing position at the front of your mat. Feet can be hip distance apart, arms can go just next to your body, eyes can be open or eyes can be closed. And let's just settle in here and take a few breaths. Big breath in and a full breath out. Once more, big breath in, full breath out. And again, big breath in and out. Continue now to settle into a nice smooth and steady pattern with your breath. Inhales and exhales through your nose. Ground your feet down into your mat and lift up through your heart and through the crown of your head. Let's inhale, reach the arms up, hands touch at the top, exhale, hands together at heart center. Inhale, reach, exhale, hands together at heart center. One more just like that, inhale, reach, Exhale, hands together at your heart center. This time, inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale to fold down over the legs. Legs can be as bent as you like, so the knees can be super bent. You can reach opposite hand for opposite elbow. Allow the head to be heavy. Drop the head down towards the ground. On your next inhale breath, bring your hands onto your shins, lengthen out through your back, reach your heart forward, send your hips back. As you exhale, fold down over your legs. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale to fold. One more time, just like that. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale to fold. Inhale, come all the way up to stand. Exhale, hands together at heart center. Continuing to flow and move, working with our breath. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale to fold down over the legs. Legs can be as bent as you like. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale to fold down over the legs. Inhale, come all the way up to stand. Exhale, hands together at heart center. Inhale to reach. Exhale to fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale to fold. Inhale, come all the way up to stand. Exhale, hands together at heart center. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, fold down over your legs. Plant your hands down on the mat just in front of you. Lift your heels up high off of the mat. Come onto just the balls of your feet and then place your heels down. Come onto just the heels of your feet. So the rest of your foot is lifted up. Lower your feet down. Come onto just the balls of your feet. Lift the heels up nice and high. Lower the heels down. Come on to just the heels of your feet. Lower the feet down. Lift the heels high up off of the mat. Lower down. Come on to just the heels of your feet. Do this a few more times. One more each way. Meeting in your forward fold, drop the head down towards the ground. Come all the way up to stand, inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, hands down through heart center, and then arms by your side. Bring your right knee in towards your chest. 
and then extend your right leg straight back behind you. Tap the right hand down onto the ground next to your left foot, left arm alongside your body. Come back up to stand with the right knee in towards your chest. Move slowly and with control. Left arm can be forward, right arm a little bit back here. Right leg back behind you, right hand taps the ground just next to the left foot. Left arm alongside your body. Come back to stand with the right knee into your chest. Left arm forward, right arm alongside your body. Extend your right leg straight back behind you. Right hand taps the ground next to the left foot. Left arm alongside your body, come back up. Inhale here, right knee into the chest. Exhale to tap the ground and extend your right leg back. Inhale to stand with the right knee in to your chest. And exhale to tap the ground and extend your leg back. One more time, just like that. Inhale, bring the right knee into your chest. And exhale, tap the ground. Come all the way up to stand, right knee into your chest and place the right foot down onto your mat. Take a few moments here to shake it out, bending through one leg and then the other. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale to fold down over your legs. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale to fold over your legs. Inhale, come all the way up to stand. Exhale, hands together at heart center. Bring your left knee now into your chest. Inhale here. Exhale, extend your left leg straight back behind you. Tap the left hand down on the mat next to the right foot. Right arm alongside your body. Inhale, bring the left knee back into your chest. Right hand comes forward. Extend the left leg back. Left hand taps down. Exhale here. Inhale, bring the left knee into your chest. Exhale to extend it back. Tap the ground. Inhale to bring the knee into your chest. Exhale to extend your leg back and tap the ground. Inhale to come to stand. We'll do this a couple more times. Inhale to come to stand. And exhale to extend your leg back and tap the ground. Inhale to come to stand. Knee comes into your chest. And then place the foot down. Right away, inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale to fold down over your legs. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale to fold. Step your right foot straight back behind you. Lower the right knee down to the mat. Reach your arms up. Inhale here, low lunge. Bring your hands together at heart center. Tuck your right toes under. Lift up your right knee and bring your right knee in towards your chest as you come up to stand on your left leg. Inhale here. Exhale to make your way back into your low lunge. Inhale here. Exhale to come up to stand with the right knee into your chest. Inhale here. Exhale to make your way back into your low lunge. Inhale here. Exhale to make your way up to stand with the right knee into your chest. Inhale here. Exhale to make your way back into your low lunge. From here you can pick up the pace or you can continue to move nice and slowly. It's up to you. We'll do this a few more times. Let's do one more and we'll meet with the right knee into the chest. 
Standing with the right knee into the chest, interlace your fingers around the right shin. And can you hug the right knee closer in towards your chest? We'll be here for a couple of breaths. Reach up through the crown of your head and ground down through the left foot and the entire left leg. Good, meet in your low lunge, right foot will step back to the back of your mat, lower the right knee down, reach your arms up. Exhale, bring your hands on your left thigh. Take one more breath here in your low lunge. Bring your hands on your hips and from here simply step up to the top of your mat. Your right foot will meet your left foot at the front of your mat. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale to fold down over your legs. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale to fold. Take a big step back with your left foot. Lower the left knee down onto the mat. Rise up into your low lunge. Inhale here. Exhale, tuck your left toes under, lift up the left knee, bring the left knee into your chest. Bring your hands together at heart center. Inhale here. Exhale to make your way back into your low lunge. Inhale in your low lunge. Exhale to come to stand on your right leg, left knee comes into your chest. Big breath in here. Exhale to come back into your low lunge. Inhale here. Exhale to make your way up to stand. Left knee comes into your chest. Ground down through your right foot. Inhale here. Exhale to come back into low lunge. We'll do this a few more times. Feel free to pick up the pace from here if you like. We'll all meet with the left knee into the chest, standing nice and tall on the right leg. Interlace your fingers around the left shin. And can you hug your left knee in towards your chest a little bit more? Stand up nice and tall. Reach the crown of your head up towards the sky and ground down firmly into your right foot. One more big breath here. Bring your hands together at heart center. Come into low lunge. Inhale, reach your arms up overhead. Exhale, bring your hands on your right thigh. We'll be here for about three breaths. Bring your hands now onto your hips. Tuck your left toes under, lift up the left knee and step up to the front of your mat. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale to fold down over your legs. Plant your hands firmly down onto the mat. Step back into your downward facing dog. So your feet step back to the back of your mat. Feet are hip distance apart. You can bend your knees as much as you like here, but make sure your fingers are spread nice and far apart. 
We'll take one more breath here. From here, lift your right leg up, three-legged dog. From here, tent up onto the left fingertips. So the left palm is lifted up off of the mat and you're just on the fingertips. Stay here, or if you would like to, you can reach the left hand back to grab onto the left leg. Finding your balance, finding somewhere on your mat to look at to help you with your balance. We'll be here for just a little bit longer. Good, let's try this now on the second side. Place your left hand and your right foot back down onto the mat. Take a big breath in and a big breath out. Lift your left leg up, three-legged dog. Come on to just the right fingertips so the right palm is lifted up off of your mat. Stay here or you can reach the right arm back. You can grab onto the right leg with the right hand. We'll be here for a couple of breaths. Good, let's release, bring the right hand down, bring the left foot down, take a big breath in here in your downward facing dog and a big breath out. Step your right foot through in between your hands, top of the mat, lower your left knee, rise up into your low lunge. Inhale here. Exhale, bring your hands together at heart center. Tuck your left toes under, lift up the left knee. Come forward into warrior three. So your left leg is lifted up. Your torso and the left leg are parallel to the ground. Lift your chest up here a little bit more. From here, start to bend the right knee just a little bit and then straighten it. Twice more, bend and straighten. One more time, bend and straighten. Come back into your low lunge. Reach your arms up. Come up to stand on your right leg. Now left knee will come into your chest. Bring your right hand on the left knee. Reach your left arm behind you. Look wherever feels comfortable for your neck. Option though to look towards the left hand. Good. Bring your hands together at heart center. Take a big step back, back of the mat. Come into your low lunge. Reach your arms up. Bring your hands down to frame your right foot. Tuck the left toes under, lift up the left knee. Step back into your downward facing dog. Take a really big breath in. And a big breath out. Good, let's step the left foot through in between the hands, front of the mat, lower the right knee down. Inhale to rise up, reach your arms up, low lunge. Take a big breath in. Exhale, hands together at heart center, tuck your right toes under, lift up the right knee, lift the right leg up off of the ground, launch yourself forward into your warrior three. So your right leg and your torso are about parallel to the ground. From here, start to bend the left knee 
and then straighten it twice more. One more time. Good. Come to stand with the right knee into your chest. Bring the left hand onto the right knee and reach your right arm back behind you. Option to look towards the right hand if you like. One more breath. Bring your hands together at heart center. Make your way back into low lunge, right foot takes a big step back, back of the mat, lower the right knee down. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, bring your hands down to frame your left foot. Tuck your right toes under, lift up the right knee. Step back into your downward facing dog. Lift your right leg high up off of the mat, three-legged dog. Walk your hands to your left foot, back of the mat. Fold down over your left leg. Lift your right leg higher if you can. Allow both hips to be squared down towards the ground. So try not to open your right hip up towards the right side. If you would like to from here, you can grab onto the left ankle with one hand or maybe both hands. From here, bring your hands down onto the mat. Fingers spread nice and far apart. Walk your hands out to the front of your mat. Three-legged downward facing dog. Lift your right leg up higher. And then drop the right foot down to your mat. Downward facing dog. We'll take one more breath here in our downward facing dog before we try that on the second side. Good, let's give the second side a go. Lift your left leg up high off of the mat. Start to walk your hands to the right foot at the back of your mat. Can you lift your left leg up higher towards the sky? And can you square the left hip down towards the ground? rather than opening it up towards the left side. If you would like to, you can try to grab onto the right ankle with one or maybe both hands. Place both hands back down onto the mat. Fingers spread nice and far apart. Walk your hands to the front of your mat into your three-legged downward facing dog. Lift your left leg up higher and then release the foot down into your downward facing dog. Lift your right leg up, inhale. Exhale, step the right foot to the outside of your hands, right side of your mat. Lower the left knee down for lizard lunge. Find any movement here in lizard pose that feels good for you. From here, let's take the right hand onto the right thigh. Start to look over the right shoulder towards the back of your space. Full breaths in and full breaths out. Bring your right hand back down to the mat. 
Tuck the left toes under, lift up the left knee, and step the right foot back into your downward facing dog. Inhale, lift the left leg high to the sky, three-legged dog. As you exhale, step it to the outside of your hands, to the left side of your mat. Lower the right knee down, lizard lunge. Find any movement that feels good for your body here. Let's now bring the left hand on the left thigh. Look over the left shoulder towards the back of your mat. Finding a bit of a twist here in our spine. Full breaths in and full breaths out. Go ahead, bring the left hand back down on the mat next to the right hand. Fingers spread nice and far apart. Tuck the right toes under, lift up the right knee. Take a big step back with the left foot, downward facing dog. Lower your knees down to the ground. Come to a seat with your legs straight out in front of you. Right leg will be straight, left leg will bend and cross the left foot over your right leg. Hug your left knee in towards your chest with your right arm. Reach your left arm up, bring the left hand behind your back. Tent up onto the left fingers to help you find more length in your spine. Sit up nice and tall and settle into this twist. One more big breath here. Good, let's release and we'll try that on the second side now. So the left leg will straighten out, right leg will be bent and you'll cross the right foot to the outside of the left leg. Hug your right knee in towards you with the left arm. Reach the right arm up and bring the right hand behind your back. Tent up onto the right fingers to help you find more length through your spine. Lengthening out the spine all the way from the crown of your head down to the tailbone. One more breath. Release from your twist, come back through center and make your way down onto your back. Coming into Shavasana. Take up lots of space here on your mats. Feet can come towards the top two corners of your mat. Arms can open up to the sides of your body. Eyes can be open or eyes can be closed. Come into a comfortable position here. Settle in and find some stillness.
Take this time here for yourself at the end of your yoga practice in order to integrate all of the beautiful work that we did in this class. Also take this time for your body and for your mind to rest and recover. Stay here and I'll guide you back in a little bit. Begin to deepen your breath. Bring some movement into your body. Whatever kind of movement feels good for you at this time is great. Gradually, you can make your way over to lie on one side. You can use one arm as a pillow to rest your head on. And then when you feel ready, you can press your way up and come into a comfortable seated position. Thank you so much for sharing your beautiful practice with me. I would love to hear how this class went for you in the comments down below. I always love to read your comments and to hear how things went for you. You can also subscribe to my channel. That way you won't miss out on any of my other yoga classes that I will be sharing on here. And you can share this video or my channel with a friend, a family member, or on social media. Thank you so much for being here and for your support. It really means a lot to me. The light in me sees and honors the light in you. I hope you have a wonderful day. Namaste.